Hello, I'm John with the Treasure Finding Rods Company, and this is going to be uh, an, a deaf test of the capabilities of the TFR4 electronic uh, locator. I would say this is an extreme deaf test simply because of the very small amounts of gold and silver that I'm going to put at the bottom of this hole um, is pretty impressive how the TFR4 will get a signal to it even under all this dirt that I'm going to fill the hole in. You can see the hole you can see down the bottom there. I have a tape measure here. I'm going to measure the depth of the hole to show you. It's pretty close to four feet and bear with me. I don't have anybody to help me film this so I have to kind of do everything myself and I have to try to hold the camera and then uh, show you with the tape measure the depth but I'm sure that regardless of the uh, limitations I have, I'm sure you're going to be impressed. I know a lot about metal detectors, and I can tell you without a doubt that the deep, the most expensive metal detectors in the world, specifically the prospecting uh, mine labs, the, the pul various types of pulse induction detectors, you're not going to get four feet on a half a gram of fine gold. I can assure you that. I'm going to show you here with this TFR4 locator how you can get four feet and you can get even more than that because I'm going to once I fill the hole in and I pack it down I'm going to raise the rod above the hole several more feet and uh, it's been a while since I did this test for myself so I'm kind of anxious to see the results for myself. Uh, I have the samples in a uh, paper sealed envelope. I'm going to show you the samples that I'm going to put at the bottom of the hole. The daylight situation here is limited. I only have so much time to dig the hole out and retrieve the targets. So that, this is the reason I just put them in an envelope. And that way I don't have to mess around with the metal detector trying to find each one in the dirt. It'll, it, you know, I can just dig them out quick before it gets too dark. So let me go ahead and get the tape measure and uh, get it down in there in a hole and you can see for yourself what the measurement is of the hole. I'll back up a little bit so you can see the hole from a distance. You can see that I dug it. And there's a tripod next to the hole. You can see it's a pretty good size hole. So let me get the tape measure out. Um, I'm also not going to cut any of the film for, for editing. I'm just going to continue to uh, let it run without any interruptions, without any cutting, even if I have to um, stop what I'm doing to put the, the camera on the tripod and this and that. I'm still just going to let it run all the way through. So that way there's no doubt in your mind that this film isn't manipulated. There's no splicing. There's no insertion of one scene or another scene. It's just straight film. You'll see I'll put the targets down in there and I'll fill the hole all the way, I'll pack it down, and then I'll pause for a minute or two to get the TFR4 set up and get it adjusted to the right target sizes, and then we'll check. There's four targets in the envelope, and we'll, we'll check each one, and then I'm going to start walking away from the hole and see if I still get a signal to any of the targets. So let me get the tape measure here. I'll go ahead and stick it down in there. So, excuse the shakiness and uh, if the film's jumping around, but as I said, I don't have anybody to help me and to film the close-up shots like the close-up of the hole, I've got to hold the camera in one hand and i got to get the tape measure in the other, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm pulling up, there you can see, there's the tape measure, I'm pulling it out and the camera's moving around a little bit, I'm doing the best that I can. Let's see. Just about got it out at four feet. Okay, I got it out at four feet. Now, you see that the tape measure, you see it's down in the hole. It's pretty, pretty straight. Okay, now, you take a look. Now you see, oh, it's just a little tricky here. You can see for yourself Let's see if I can get close. You can see for yourself 
there's four feet. That's pretty much the edge of the hole. That's pretty close to four feet. So we're talking 48 inches. Let's see if I can get this a little straighter. Okay, you see? There you can see for yourself. There's the edge of the hole. 48 inches. Okay, that's about as far away as I can get. So, 48 inches, 4 feet, pretty close to that mark. Alright, so I'm going to grab the uh, sample targets that we're going to dump down in there in the hole, and then I'm going to put the camera on a tripod and you'll watch me fill the hole. So just give me a second and bear with me here. Like I said, I'm not cutting the film. There's no editing. It's just straight, straight film all the way through. Okay, I got the targets. Now let's see if I can get them out of here and show each one without dropping them. So, here we go. All right, so, here you can see the targets in the envelope. See, there's half a gram of placer gold. Let me see if I can pull them out and show each one without dropping them. It's kind of tricky. Like I said, I don't have anybody to help me with this. All right, so let's see if I can get a sunlight shot and you can see the gold a little better. There's, let's see, there we go. There's the placer gold, half a gram of placer gold. You can see it there in the in the vial. You can see it pretty clearly. Let's see if I can get a little more in focus. Half a gram of plaster gold and a little glass vial. Okay, that's the first target. Now, let's see. Okay, I got a I got a two gram gold coin here. Okay, two gram gold coin can see that pretty clearly that's in there for some reason the zoom feature the focusing is not that great on this okay well you can see it okay so I got a two two gram mercury dime there's the mercury dime Let's see yeah when I get real close it doesn't focus very well oh well and you can see two gram mercury dime that's in there and then I have a one gram pure uh, silver, pure silver pellet. One gram pure uh, melted silver here. One gram. Because I didn't have a one gram silver coin. You can see that? Okay. Now, I'll show you once again that the targets, the samples are in the envelope. You can see them in there. You see them? There's the plaster gold, half a gram, the silver coin, the silver uh, pallet. You can see it in there. Just a second, I just lost the, the visual on that. You can see all the targets in there. The gold coin, the two silver pieces, and the plaster gold. Okay, so now you can see I'm not cutting anything. Okay, one last shot. You can see that the targets are in there. Just a second. You can see everything's still in there before I seal the envelope. Okay, I'm trying to show that I'm sealing. Now, let's, for the skeptics, let's show it again before I seal. I'm trying to get the whole scene in where I seal the envelope, and it's really tough with the... You can see everything's still in there, okay? Everything is still in there. So now, I'm sealing the envelope. Okay. Don't want anything to fall out. Don't have to waste time trying to find everything. Or tr try to find the, the targets if they get lost. Okay. So, I got everything in the envelope. Let's see, you can see. Eh, you can't see everything. You can't see the stuff's in there, but I pretty much demonstrated it's in the envelope. Okay, well, let's see if I can open it up one last time. 
just in case people think that I'm putting something else in the envelope. Before I dump it in the hole, let's show. Christ, it's hard to hold this camera. Okay, look, you see? Everything as I showed you, look, it's still in the envelope. Now I'm gonna try and hold the envelope at a distance. Well, it's just tough to, to, you can, to, to seal it. See everything's still in there? Let me see if there's another way to do this. Okay. We'll do it this way. That way you can see that I'm not changing, switching envelopes or anything. You see how everything's still in there? Let's see, where did the gold coin? Okay, there's the gold. Okay, look, one last time. I've already done this four times already, but one last time. See all the targets in there? Okay, we'll do it this way. See, look, I'm sealing the envelope. There's no doubt now it's the same envelope. Okay? There's no uh, trickery involved here. I'm not switching envelopes or anything. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna place the envelope way down in there at the bottom of the hole. See if I can get down in there. Okay, you see? The envelope's down in there. There's no doubt it's the same envelope. Alright? Okay, so now how do I get the the camera on the tripod without you thinking I changed the envelope. Let's see what I can do here. Well, I'll just get the shovel and I'll start putting dirt in there and then you, you'll be able to tell that I'm not digging it out or changing it or anything. So let me grab the shovel. I'll keep the camera on the envelope. It's kind of a pain in the butt to do this. All right, we're just going to put some dirt in there and then I have to put the camera on a tripod. All right, you see? I'm filling the you can see you see you can still see a little piece of the envelope. Okay, we're burying it. There's no switching. There's no changing. There's no trickery involved here. All right, we got some dirt in there. It's going to take me a little while to fill this hole, so I'm going to have to um, put the camera on the tripod that I have here, and the tripod's to one side because otherwise it'd be in my way. Okay. Okay. As I was trying to put. The camera on the tripod, I stopped the film and didn't even realize it. This camera is very sensitive. So I had to dig the freaking envelope out again because I don't want anybody accusing me of stopping the film or splicing or editing. So I dug the I dug the envelope back out. Now you can see the targets. Are still in there very clearly okay you can even see that the envelopes a little crumpled so now I'm gonna seal the envelope again you can see I'm sealing it the best that I can okay everything's still in there I'm gonna drop it back down in the hole and hopefully this time the camera won't get messed up I'm dropping it back down in the hole all right you can see that it's there. I'm going to turn it over with the shovel so that the dirt doesn't get inside of it. Okay, there you go. You can see it's still there. All right, now I'm going to put a little dirt over it. You can see that it's still there. So I'm going to leave a little bit of it exposed and then that way I can come back to it before I fill it up so you can see that it's still there. Now, I have to put the camera on the tripod and I'm trying to figure out a way to do that so I can fill the hole where it's not in the way. So, let me see if I can move the tripod over at another angle here, which would still show the envelope. I'm keeping it on the envelope and that way, let's see if I can do it this way. It would be much easier. Okay. You can see the envelope's still there. All right. I'm trying to adjust the... You can see the, the tripod bumped the camera, but you can see it's still down in there. See the dirt over the envelope? Okay. That's another good thing about using the envelope. You can see the targets before I fill the hole. So I got to... Adjust this, put this thing on the 
the bracket here so it doesn't move while I fill the hole. Okay, I think we're good to go now. We got the sucker ready. All right, I've got... I'm just going to keep this angle until I fill the hole, and then I'll move the uh, camera off to the side. All right, so we're going to start filling the hole. gonna have to be careful that I don't bump the camera because it's a $1,200 camera films in high definition all right you can see I'm filling the hole there we go this might take me a little while so bear with me because I don't want to have to stop actually stop the film for any reason this time I'll compact the dirt once I get it pretty much filled and then we'll, we'll get out the TFR4 rod and you'll see we'll, so we'll do the test and see if we start getting signals I'm pretty sure that you will be very impressed I've done some above ground demonstration tests with the TFR4 now comes the really tough test how the TFR4 will react to targets very small amounts of gold and silver that are underneath a couple hundred pounds of dirt. I'm just guessing at how much the dirt weighs, but I'm sure it's pretty heavy. It's a four foot haul. I wish I had somebody to help me do this. It'd be a hell of a lot easier to not have to hold the camera and the tape measure and all that but I couldn't find anybody to help me so the weather I got a weather window here because the weather is usually not good around here a lot of wind it's really hard to film so today's just beautiful it's perfect and I have a certain window of daylight here it starts to get dark okay we just about got the we're getting close to getting the hole filled I'm doing this step by step so you can see for yourself let me see how we're doing on time here okay looks like we're still filming had to check the timer the counter, I mean, not the timer. All right. I'm near a farmer's farmer's crop field here. And I'm not sure where the, the boundary is. I'm pretty sure this is the public side. But I still don't want to have to explain to him why I'm digging a four-foot hole up here so close to his property. So you just got to be careful sometimes when you, you know, you dig holes and look for treasures and stuff like that. You got to find out where the, the property lines are. Okay, I have to pull some. You can see that the you can see that the hole is getting pretty filled already. I got to get some dirt from the other side.
All right, we just about got the hole filled. I'm gonna compact it down in a minute. Okay, packing it down as good as I can. I'm gonna move the camera away from the hole a little bit so you can see that it's filled up. But I won't take, I'll try to keep the camera focused on the same spot. So I'll put the shovel right in the middle. That way you know, see, there's the shovel. And I'm gonna move, move the camera off the hole a little bit. Okay, now you can see I'm at a distance. Okay, you see? You can see that that's the hole. I didn't move the shovel. Excuse me for a minute, I'm out of breath a little bit. You can see there's the hole. Okay, so now let me get the camera, without getting off the hole, let me get it set up here. So you can see when I get the TFR4 rod, I'm gonna have to adjust the camera legs. For a minute. Okay, excuse me for a minute while I adjust the, not the camera legs, the tripod legs. All right, so now we've got the hole there. You can see I left the shovel right over there. I'm gonna pack that dirt down a little bit more. I'm gonna leave the camera running so you can see the process here. I'm gonna go get the TFR4 rod and we'll see if we get a signal to those targets. Okay, you can see that I put a big rock there to mark the hole, the center of the hole. I'm gonna get the TFR4 rod now and we'll get, it, uh, we'll get it cranked up and we'll put it on the proper settings and see if we get a signal to the targets. Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, excuse myself for a minute to get the to get the uh, the TFR4 locator. Now you can see I don't know why this camera is not focusing really good closely. 
Okay, let's see if I can adjust this. You can see the TFR4 uh, locator here, and I'm going to try. So let's start out with the bigger target first. I have a sample of, of gold in the uh, sample chamber, so we're going to put it on. For some reason, the focus isn't really working that good, but you can see that the TFR4, I've got it on two grams. So we're on two grams of gold on the dial. I just got to plug it in. Okay, and here's the TFR4, the TFR4 rod. Now let's see if we get a, we get a sample of two, the two grams of gold. Turn the unit on. Okay, we're on. Check the voltage. Yeah, for some reason the voltage meter is not showing. I don't know why it's doing that. It's not showing really good in the camera. But we're at about 8.87 volts. So we're on two grams. Okay, so let's see if we get a signal. You can see the hole still there. Hasn't moved. I got that rock over the hole. Let's see if we get a signal to the two gram gold coin and then we'll we'll try the half a gram we'll try the half a gram vial of gold uh, of fine gold okay let's see if we get a signal let this thing warm up a minute Let's see if we get a signal to the two gram gold coin. Hopefully I'm good in the camera. Look at that. We're already getting a we're already getting a lock to the two gram gold coin. You see that? See how it's how it's locking as I swing over? And this is about close to five feet. See as I sweep the rod, it's pulling, it's pulling to the gold coin. Let me get up a little higher. See? See the antenna, how it's trying, it's pulling to the rock. It's pulling to the middle of the hole where the gold coin is. You can see, we're getting a signal. Now if I get on my knees here and go over the hole, you can see how the how the rod, how the antenna is wanting to point towards the middle. It's kind of at an angle here. But you can see, see how it's pulling towards the middle? It's getting a signal to that to that two gram gold coin. Now if I take it off two grams. I take it off two grams of gold on the dial. Now we're getting nothing. I'll do it slow. We're getting no signal. I put it back on two grams. Signal's back. Even underneath all that dirt, I'm getting a signal. Let's see if I can walk around. See as I walk around the hole, it wants to point towards the middle. Let me adjust the camera a little better. Okay, so that was two grams of gold coin, of a gold coin. Let me back off a little bit. If I can adjust this, I can loosen this a little bit turn the other way. Now you can see that I get a I get a signal to the gold coin even from a little farther away. Okay. As I sweep, you can see that 
the TFR rod is locking to that gold coin, it's pointing right towards the rock. Now if I do it from this angle over here, kind of like at a 45 degree angle, you can see I'm getting a signal from this angle. Okay. So let's get it back where we were. Okay. Let's put it on a gram. Actually, let's put it on half a gram and see if it'll pick up on the, the half a gram of uh, fine gold in the vial. Okay, so we're on half a gram. We're pretty close to half a gram. I might have to adjust the, the dial a little bit. If you're trying to find the size of your target, you adjust the dial until you get a signal. We're, we're not on half a gram yet. Now we are. See, now I'm getting a signal. Now there. Is that amazing? Is that amazing or what? So we're, look at that, we're about five feet there. That's another foot from the top of that dirt and that rock up to where the rod is. Look at that, I'm getting a signal, half a gram of gold. You see that? That to me is pretty unbelievable. That half a gram is in that little glass file and it's four feet underneath all that dirt. Now let's get off of half a gram, we'll go to a gram. Now the signal's gone. Okay, see? There's no signal. We get back on half a gram. There's a signal. See, I'm not, I'm not causing the, uh, the rod. It's, on, it's, on, it's, it's, it's like a compass. It's on a pivot point. It's, flo it's free floating, you see? I can turn the rod from one side to the other, but I cannot make that antenna pull like that. It's almost impossible to do. You see how it's pulling towards the, the center? See how the antenna is pulling towards the center? I'll get closer. See the pull? It's wanting to go to that half a gram of gold that's underneath all that dirt. I'll back up a little bit. Now, get over here at a different angle. Look at that. There's the pull. Sometimes it takes a few seconds for the antenna to grab onto the signal. That's why sometimes when I, if I change positions, if it doesn't grab it right away, it's, a, it's adjusting to the, to the difference. You see that? Half a gram of gold. There you go, folks. There you go. And the best news is you won't have to spend $10,000 on my metal detector like you do on the MineLab GPZ 7,000, 6,000, whatever it is. You buy mine for between eight and 900 bucks, you get yourself a little metal detector and you're good to go. You can find a little bit of gold Real, real deep. Now, we're going to test for the other samples. So, we already covered half a gram, and we covered a gram of gold. Now, let's cover the silver. i got to change the sample and the sample compartment here. Okay. You can see... I get my hand here. Eh, it's kind of tough. I don't know if you can see here. Hold on. You can see the silver sample in my hand. A silver dime. Okay. That's going in the sample chamber of the rod.
Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna adjust the we're gonna adjust the TFR4 control box to one gram of silver because we have a one gram silver pellet. Remember, I showed you there's a one gram silver pellet, and I just can't figure out why the focus is not working close up on this camera. I don't want to shut the camera off to mess with it because I'm trying to keep the film rolling. But anyway, trust me, even if you can't see it very well, trust me that I'm on a gram there. Okay, so let's try a gram of silver. Okay. There we go for a gram a gram of silver. Did I did I have it on two grams? I think I had it on two grams. Apologize for that. So let's just try two grams first. Because I don't remember now. I'm tired from digging. From digging that freaking hole. It took me a while to dig that hole. Let's just do two grams first. And then we'll go to the one gram. So two grams of silver, mercury dime. Look at that. Where are we getting a signal? See that? Two gram silver coin. Four feet depth. An extra foot above the ground. You can see I'm getting a signal. I'm getting a signal to the two gram mercury dime. That's buried underneath all that dirt. Now if I get off of two grams, I put it on one ounce. Now I'm getting no signal. Why am I not getting any signal? Because I'm off of two grams on the dial. Now with the TFR4, it has a direct voltage connection connector. You can look for all size targets at once. But what I usually do is I'll hunt in direct voltage and when I find a target, I'll switch over to discriminator voltage and then that way I can start messing, uh, adjusting the dial and figure out how, how big my target is before I decide to dig it. So we're going to go back to two grams and now there's a signal again. You can see for yourself. I haven't cut the film. Um, you saw that the, the targets were in the envelope underneath all that dirt. You can see I'm getting a signal. I'm going to walk away a little bit just a little bit and you see I'm still getting a signal to the two grams okay I'll go at a different angle here we're at another angle you can see that there's a pull on the antenna right to the center of that rock there's a pull there's an attraction okay so now let's try the final sample target let's see if we're still rolling here yeah film's still going that's good so let's put it on a gram okay we're on a gram of silver right now and it's hard to see because for some reason the camera is a little out of focus but that's the best that I can do for right now. Okay, so let's try the final target, and then I'll then I'll start shooting a, a distance away from the hole. And let's see how far we can still get a signal with the TFR4. Okay, so we're at a gram of silver right now. We're exactly at a gram. Now you see that? See how it's pulling? Even a little higher. A gram of silver. The, the silver pellet that's in the envelope. You can see I'm getting a signal. Amazing. Over four feet depth on small samples of metal and gold. I mean I've used a lot of metal detectors over the years. I've never had a metal detector that goes this freaking deep. 
So we'll get a little farther away. Hopefully I'm in the view, view of the, the camera lens. I'm sweeping. You can see I'm getting a signal. I'll come from this angle, different angle. I sweep past the hole. There's the attraction. See how the antenna's pulling? Pull into the center of the hole. Now, if I take it off a gram, I go to an ounce. Now we have no signal. We have no signal because I'm not on the size of the target that is buried there. Now if I go back to a gram, there's a signal. You can see the rod's reacting. Okay, so we're going to have to speed up the film because YouTube has a limit sometimes when you try to upload these videos. I have to try to keep them under a certain time limit. Okay, so now I'm going to have to try to figure out how to show you how far away the TFR rod will still get a signal to the targets away from the hole. So I'm going to have to take the camera and I'm just going to have to hold it in one hand very carefully. You can see the hole still over there. Extend out the antenna a little bit. Hole still there. Actually that was the wrong rock there. You see there's the there's the hole. Okay. So I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna walk away from the hole. I'm gonna extend out the antenna a little bit. Okay, you can see there's the tripod. And there you can see the hole over there with the rock. All right. So let's start out with two grams of silver. Okay. Let the cable in the way. Let's get it back on. Let's get it back on two grams. Okay, we're on two grams. Let's see if we can do a voltage check real quick. Oh, wow. What do you know? The focus is working now. There's the voltage right there. I got it on my waist. We're still good on voltage. Okay, so you can see. Oh man, I'm tired from digging that because I had to dig that freaking hole before I started shooting the film. Okay, so let me see if I can get the the rod here. All right, you can see the rod. Now, if I can get if I can get the rod and the hole in the same shot, this is going to be a little tricky. Let's see what I can do here. Hold it out a little bit. Okay. So it's going to be a little tricky. I'm going to have to shorten the antenna a little bit. Okay. See the hole over there? Now I'm sweeping the rod. And you can see that even from this distance, I'm getting a signal. I'm getting a signal to that frickin' mercury dime. You see that? You see that pull? I'm gonna have to pause for a minute because there's a jogger. How you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Shooting some video. You're gonna be famous. Alright. <laughs> Alright, had to wait for that guy to go by. Okay, so. I'm having a hard time holding the rod because the wind's kind of picking up here. Okay, look, now I'm trying to keep the hole and the rod in the same shot and it's really tough because I kind of lose the hole as soon as I focus on the rod. But you can see, you can see I'm getting a signal. Let me see if I can hold it back a little bit. Okay, you see? See, see the antenna, watch the antenna. 
Don't focus too much on the hole. Watch the antenna. Watch how when I sweep by there, it's getting a lock. You see that? Let me stand over at this angle. It's a little better. I'm getting a lock. I'm getting a lock to that silver coin. All the way, we're at about 25 feet away. So we're talking 25 feet away from the hole. 25 feet away from the hole. Plus the extra four feet that it's in the ground. So what is that, 29 feet? You see the pull as I sweep? You see the pull to the hole? Okay, so let's try, let's try the one gram. Let's try the one gram silver, because I still have sil silver in the sample compartment. Okay, let's put it on one gram. Okay, we're on one gram on the dial. Let's try the one gram of silver and see if it'll reach. Okay, I haven't really moved. I'll walk out a little bit. All right. Got an itch on my forehead. Okay. Now, we're on one gram of silver. Now, that's going to be pretty freaking impressive if I get a signal to that one gram of silver all the way from over here, and it's four feet under the ground. Wouldn't you think? I mean, what more can I do to demonstrate how powerful this this locator? Now, you see how as I sweep, it's just really hard to... I lose the, the rod and the and the hole over there. It's just really tough. Let me see if I can hold it at that angle. Now watch the tip of the antenna. Look at that, I'm getting a signal. You see that pull? As I sweep, you see that pull, that attraction? One gram of silver. All the way, now, here's something I can do that will help. I've just demonstrated at about 30 feet. Let's follow the tip. That'll be a little easier. Let's follow the tip of the antenna over there and watch. I'll walk past it and let's see if the let's see if the rod points towards the hole. How about if we do that? That'll be easier for me. Without tripping and killing myself here. Okay. Now we just walked past the hole. Now look. The antenna's pulling. You see that? It pulled back towards the hole. Let's walk by again. There's the hole. Now, watch the antenna as I walk by. Watch what happens. You see that? It's pulling. It's kind of tough to do this. I'll try it again. I'll walk by one more time. Okay. There's the rod. There's the hole. And watch the watch the rod pull as I walk by. There it goes. See that? See it's pulling back. I'm not doing that. I walk the uh, the opposite way. There's the rod pulling back towards the towards the hole. See that? We'll do the sweep one more time. You can see the rock there. You can see the rod. There's the there's the signal. Okay, there you go. There's the signal. Now we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do the gold. We're gonna take we're gonna put the camera on the tripod for a minute. We're gonna change out the samples. And we're gonna do the gold test, and that's gonna be it. Let's see how, how deep it'll go on the half, I mean, how far away I can go on the half a gram of gold. Okay, I'm loading the, I'm loading the uh, sample gold in the chamber. Okay, we're going to do this final test. We're still filming. I just have to be careful. 
that I do not accidentally shut the film off like I did before. Okay, so let's try the half a gram of gold. Okay. Got to get over there out of the direct sunlight so I can see what I'm doing. I think the sunlight affects the focus. I don't know why, but the uh, focus is changing. It's like too bright now for some reason. I don't know what's going on with the camera. Maybe I have it on the wrong setting. Anyway, we're going to put it on half a gram. Let's see. It's like overexposed or something. Yeah, we have we have way too much exposure here. I don't even know if this is going to, it's like way too bright. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, okay. Looks like I just fixed it. Looks like I had it on, on uh, extreme exposure there. Okay, we're good now. And I didn't have to cut the film to fix it, so that's good. All right, so... You can see, see we're on about a half a gram. Okay, so I'll show you. See if we get a signal to the half a gram of gold all, all the way from over here. We might not be on half a gram. I think we are. Yeah, we're getting a signal. You can see that it's getting a lock. I'm just having a hard time holding this camera because my hand hurts. All right, we're getting a half. A, we're getting a signal half a ground. I'm going to step back a little farther. So we're at about. We're close to 30 feet actually. Okay, so. You can see I'm getting a signal to that a half a gram of gold. See how the rod, the antenna, see how the antenna is locking all the way from over here to that half a gram of gold. So we're talking about over, over 34, 35 feet. See, now watch the tip of the antenna as I walk by. Watch how it'll pull back to the hole, watch. As I walk by, I'm walking a different direction. See how it's pulling? See how the see how the rod pulled? I'll do it this direction. We'll head uh, south now. Okay. As I now you can see that the hole is over there to my left, right? That's north. So we're heading east now. Okay. Now watch, watch the rod pull as I walk by. So you can see that I really am getting a signal at this distance. There, look at that, there it goes. It's pulling back towards the hole. You see that? You see how it's pulling back towards the hole? So we'll walk towards the hole. We'll walk towards the hole and then we'll walk right by it when we get close to it. Okay, there's the hole over there. Now, I'm gonna walk right by it. Watch what, watch the rod. Pull towards the hole. See there, it's pulling towards the hole. You see that? Is that amazing? Or what? Okay, we're gonna pause for a second. Let the jogger go by. You can see that the hole's still there. Okay. You can see there's a jogger with his dog. That's why I had to stop for a second. So. 
let me get right over the hole. I'll show you that. The rod's still getting a signal. Okay. Now, I'm going to get down here as best as I can. Now you see, I'm still getting a signal. As I sweep past, I'm still getting a signal to that half a gram of gold. You see that? That's pretty freaking amazing. Okay, we're going to do one final test, and then I'm going to have to finish the video because it's getting really long. So, we've already done the three targets. Now we're going to do the final one. We're going to do the uh, two gram gold coin. We were just on the half a gram. Okay. All right. Okay. We're on two grams right now. You can see. Two grams. All right. We're going to do the final test here. See if our voltage is still good. Our voltage is still good. For some reason, it's kind of having trouble with the focus again. Okay. So at this distance, we're going to go, actually, we're going to walk back a little farther. We're going to walk a little, we're going to do about 40 feet. And I'm going to wrap up the, the video. You see the hole over there? See the tripod? Still the same hole. Nothing's changed. So we're, we're at about 40. I would imagine we're about 40. We're at least 40 feet over here. Okay? Now, there's the rod. There's the TFR4 rod. There's the hole. Now, I'm going to try to hold this still. My arm's aching. I'm making this <laughs> sacrifice for the video. These videos are not easy to shoot when you're doing this by yourself, trying to hold the camera in one hand. Okay, see? Now, look. There's, look. As I sweep past, there's the signal lock. You see that? The camera moved. As I sweep past, you see how it's wanting to line up with the hole all the way over here? Let me get it a little more. Let me get it centered. Okay. That looks about right. Now you see? See the pull as I go by? I'm going to try and shorten it. See that pull towards the rock, towards the center of the hole? Just to the left of the tripod. You see? You see how it's pulling? How the antenna is pulling towards the target? See how it's locking? Okay, now if I turn it off, let's now watch. One final demonstration. I'm going to turn the thing off. Oh, that was the volt. Man, what am I doing? Okay, look. We just shut it off. See? There's on, there's off. We're off. Right? Okay. Now, TU4 is off. Now watch what happens when I sweep for the skeptics. Okay. Now you see? Now, now there's nothing. I'm, I'm getting no signal. You see? There is no signal. There's no signal because it's off. You see that? Now I'll turn it back on again. Okay, now we're back on. Okay, make sure we're on the right. Okay, we're back on. Okay. TFR4 is back on. I wish there was a way that I could hold this easier. I'm doing my best. Okay, now as I sweep past the target. Watch, there, there's a signal lock. You see that? See how I'm getting a pull as I sweep past it? See the pull? See how it's pulling towards the target? And maybe I can hold it on my arm as I do it. That's a little better. It's not shaking all over the place. See the pull as I go past the target? See that pull? That's the attraction to the two gram gold coin that's in the ground. 
So I think I will uh, try this one last little thing. You see, hold still over there. We're gonna walk. Let's let's go completely the opposite direction. See if it'll pull back. Okay, I got the TF4 rod right here. We're going toward. We're heading. We're heading in a different, completely different direction. Okay. Now let's see. See different direction. Let's see if it'll pull back towards the gold coin. We're gonna start walking down this road, which is in a west direction, and we're gonna walk by the target. Now let's see if it'll start pulling. Look at that. Final demonstration. Look at the TFR4 rod. It's pulling towards the gold coin. Now, what more can I do to convince you of... See? It's pulling in that direction. We'll do it again. As I walk by, you can see... Stop for a minute. You can see the holes over there. Look how far away I am from the hole. Keep in mind that the gold coin is buried. Now watch. As I walk by, we get in a signal... Directional signal line. Look. TFR4 is pulling. Pulling towards the hole. There you can see for yourself. Alright. Okay, that's about it for the video. I've went over my time limit. If you have any questions about this incredible, unbelievable, unbelievably powerful locator, that's the TFR4, then just shoot me an email. I will answer all emails. Thank you for your interest.